OK. I bet you know a lot of math. So in this example, again, the same important thing. Please do not be doing these problems, especially as you guys are getting used to this. Please just plot the information. I cannot stress how many times I see students that make mistakes that never plotted the information. The focus is a point, so we plot it as a point. The directrix is a line, so we plot it as a line. x equals 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, So now we have this thing. We have a focus and we have a directrix. Now, I know I don't have a horizontal directrix here, but I want you guys to understand. If you guys look over here, we have the focus and we have the directrix. What is in between the focus and the directrix? Vertex. And you see how that's evenly, evenly split between them? Yes? You see how the vertex is right in the middle between the two? So if here's my focus, and then here's my vertex, the distance between them is 1, 2, 3, right? So I need to go over 1.5 to find my vertex. So if here I'm at 2, my vertex is now going to be at Three point five, and then what is going to be the y coordinate of my vertex? Negative three. The one thing I didn't talk to you guys about, or I didn't, I didn't make sure I went over. Remember that the focus and the vertex are always on the same axis of symmetry, right? They're always on the same axis of symmetry, so therefore they're going to have the same coordinates. So on the last example, do you guys see how the? So you guys see how the focus and the vertex are on the same axis of symmetry? Over here, the same thing happens. The axis symmetry is going up. Now, the other thing, remember, a parabola opens up towards its focus. So am I opening up or down? No, and I'm not opening to the right, so I'm opening to the left. So my graph looks something like this, just something like that. The only thing I notice is, hey, OK, now this graph is opening up horizontal, so therefore x is not going to be squared. Because I'm familiar with the parabola where x is squared, right? So therefore y has to be squared. So we look at our formula that we use for that. And we have y equals, I'm sorry, y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Now, we identified our vertex. We had to find the coordinate point for the vertex. So the coordinate point for my vertex, this is my h, and that's my k. The last problem, the vertex was at 0, 0, correct? So now we have a vertex at h and k. So y is going to be y minus, or y plus 3 minus a negative 3. Equals 4 times p. Now p is important. We know that the distance from my vertex to my focus was 1.5. But to go from my vertex to my focus, I'm going to the left. So is p going to be positive or negative? Negative. negative. And then that's going to be x minus h, so it's minus 3.5. So now we just simplify. y plus 3 squared equals negative 6, x minus 3.5. Any questions? OK, the main important thing, guys, I'm telling you, if you guys can get this stuff right, then all you're doing is just throwing in the numbers in there, in the formulas. So, But it, the main important thing is knowing what the parabola looks like, and then 